It's Cigar Time, the world's <laughs> largest viewed show all about premium cigars. How about that? It's oh very nice. nice. The right. world's very largest. Very enthusiastic. I like it. It is very nice. Yeah, it's a little say, different opening. You didn't say welcome back. Yeah, I, I didn't say welcome back. The cigars. Well, the reason I didn't say welcome back Cause is because we don't welcome them. No, we He's love them. for the oh, Laurel and okay. Hardy. Next week. <laughs> Stop. Next week. I don't want to hear that. Next week <laughs> will be our one year anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. There's some betting That's here whether we should yeah. wear formal wear or not. No, no formal wear. Yeah, it's an no. evening gown. Totally. My guess is that no. won't happen. That will not happen. Won't happen. Just let me uh, clarify a few things first. Uh, this show is for you. This show is about premium cigars. Uh, we have a lot of people watching this show, and people all over the world, actually. They view it on Facebook and YouTube. And, of course, the people here in the local Delaware Valley, uh, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania, uh, often comment, what do we mean by supporting your local brick and mortar stores? Uh, brick and mortar is the store you go in into in the wintertime when you can't smoke outdoors. Uh, Cigar Cigars has nine stores around the Delaware Valley, but we're not on every corner. And we would just implore you to please support your local tobacconist. He needs your support. He needs your sales. He, he can't operate. He can't run his lounges. He, he can't operate a business unless you support him. That's we appreciate the support you give us, but we want you to know we support the brick and mortar stores as well. And we appreciate if you spread the business around. Go oh, brick and mortar. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your wife does uh, not of, want you to smoke in the garage anymore. Speaking of the way we're dressed, I see you're wearing your Phillies hat. Aren't they? Uh, yeah. Well done? It, it's over. Well, it late. The bloodletting ended a couple days ago. A couple ago. days ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I guess it's time to tip of the cap. You didn't do it for us this year, guys, but maybe next year. Probably not well, next year. But, 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 oh. I came prepared. <laughs> nice. Mr. Director, is this the right brim? <laughs> good. Nice. Hopefully Looks the good. Eagles do better than the Well, they're good. doing better so far. This is the 30th. This is the 30th yeah. of September. And the guys are doing pretty good. Yeah. I think, you know, not for the cap to all of them. Absolutely. I mean, they, they won a couple of tough games. They could have gone either way, and life what, is good. I, I What's your prediction? Oh, well, boy, here we go. Come on, we got to get it on camera, everybody. I predict if I don't light a cigar pretty soon, I'm going to have to... <laughs> All right, we need to speed this up because Paul's going to have a fit. Yeah. We're running out of time. I just All want right. to know what I'm getting my money for the bet that oh I won because of the home runs. <laughs> It's not over yet. Oh, stop. No, it actually, is. it is A couple over. days ago. I yes, lost. It is. You for lost. For the first time in a gazillion years, Grazie you actually Dio. You beat Dio. me in a bet. Of course, I gave you a layup on that one. I really oh, gave you a layup. All right, 20 so, bucks. So what's the, betting, what's the betting on the Eagles this year? 11 and 5. Wow. You heard it here. Rob? Uh, 10 and 6. 12 and 4. Got to be different. I'm with Rob, 10 and 6. Are you kidding? There you go. That's what they did last year. So I'm, I'm, Boy, I'm so 11. torn between 11 and 6 and 12 and 4, or 11 and 5 and 12 and 4. I could take the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on the limb. Eight and eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's a limb. 12 and 4. There you go. Wow. Okay. I'm out on the limb. All right. I'm all by myself as I, usual. I, I think it's maybe time to start talking about cigars. Yeah. Oh, thank God. That's okay. why we're here. <laughs> uh, Miss T will introduce our our cigar for today. Our cigar today is the Oliva Master Blend Three. The, the wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf Sun Grown. The binder is Nicaraguan Habano, and the filler is a Nicaraguan Lajero. The sizes are a Robusto and a Churchill, and the taste profile is roasted nuts, pepper, and herb. Just want to point out that Oliva is the second largest mm -hmm. grower in Nicaragua. Um, their Oliva Master Blend series, each one has a different, completely different blend, and how much you get depends on the, how much they yield from the crop of that season. So. I just also want to point out that we're lighting, uh, yep, uh, cutting and lighting our cigars with uh, Zycar. One of our Zy sponsors. Yeah, one of our sponsors, Zycar. What kind of Zycar? That's the Illume lighter. Very sexy. Very nice. Comes in eight different colors. It I got does. the white. Re-engineered with a bigger tank. Who's got the black? <laughs> I got yellow. I kid, have orange. That's what my kids say about me. What? That I've been re-engineered with a bigger tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no whispering. They're an official sponsor, aren't they? They are. They are an official sponsor. Of Cigar Cigars. Yeah. yeah. Cigar, cigar Time. Not Cigar Cigars, Cigar Time. Cigar Time. But <laughs> Paul, have, have you got show. any uh, words of wisdom this week? About this cigar? No, not yet. We're just with it. Oh. You have a topic. Yes, I do. Okay. You Let's know, hear it. 
Mm. We've talked a lot about tobacco, and of course we all know it's a plant, but what we haven't talked about much is the tobacco flower, without which there would be no tobacco plant. Makes sense. A couple of things that, if you think about it, you might already realize. Uh, the flower pops out on the tobacco plant when it's uh, fairly mature, usually about six feet tall. Um, and in the, on, on the plantations where they're growing the tobacco, typically they pinch off the flower as soon as it starts to emerge. And they do that so that all of the nutrients that would go to the flower wind up going to the leaf instead. Because the more that goes to the leaf, the more flavor you wind up with. And since the plant's six feet tall, Rob can't reach the top. <laughs> it's no. very funny. So, so they pinch Short off. Short jokes, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're not much taller than me. He goes for the broadleaf flower. Yeah. Oh, that grows lower. It was not um, yeah. it, It's an interesting thing, though. <laughs> During flowering time in the fields, uh, you will see about one out of every 50 or so plants will have a bag, a plastic bag, over the flower. It's one of the ugly ones. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I could do five minutes. What's with that going line. on with your I mean, cigar? I could go on and on about Check out the operator it's error a, in lighting that cigar. That's a double bagger. Yeah. That's a double um, bagger. <laughs> <laughs> they do that because it's very good, Scott. They, Don't forget, this is the family hour. Yeah. They select a particular plant Half that they want to get seeds from, and they let that one continue to flower. But because the seeds are so minuscule. I think you pointed out there's somewhere on the order oh, of like 11,000 11, per gram. Yeah, yeah. That's about the size of a, uh, a grind, like a ground coffee. It's about the size of a seed. A ground. really fine ground coffee. Anyway, so they pick the ones that they want. They put a bag over the top and they let it go to seed, as they say. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the flower itself. Um, if you've never seen one, uh, we'll try to get a picture that you can see during the during the airing of this show. The flowers look like trumpets. They're, they're kind of long and, and deep. Um, they generally are either white or a very pale purplish color. But here's a few surprises. They only open at night. They stay most of the way closed until the air cools off and the sun goes away, and then they open up. Like right? the freaks like come out at night. Like vampires. Nocturnal. Because yeah. they're freaks. Uh, and, well, no, it's actually because tobacco oh, is a member of the nightshade family, oh. and that's a characteristic of all nightshade plants that they mm -hmm. open. That's what what, are the, what nightshade. other nightshade plants oh. are there? Belladonna. That's what I wanted <laughs> you to say. Yeah. Yeah. We won't go there. You, you, uh, you don't want to chomp on those. Uh, no, well, you don't really want to chomp on a live tobacco plant either. No. Um, they are extremely fragrant. In fact, they make an excellent garden plant for around your house. It's a slightly different breed, but tobacco plants are actually very common in gardens in the United States. And the reason is, uh, if you get the lower growing varieties, they almost act like a ground cover. Uh, they, the flowers are actually very pretty. They smell fantastic, and they attract hummingbirds like nobody's business. It's one of the best plants if you want to get hummingbirds to come around and, and hang around. And even though it's an annual, which means it dies every year, they come back every year because they make so many seeds mm. uh -huh. that it just naturally reseeds itself and comes back the next season. Nice. The, the fact that they attract hummingbirds is actually very useful in the tobacco business. Historically, uh, that's how they would pollinate the plants on the plantations. When it was time to pollinate, when the flowers were coming up, they would release flocks of hummingbirds into the tobacco fields, and they would go from flower to flower carrying some of the pollen with them and moving around, and, and that's how they would reproduce the plants. Uh, they might do it in some parts of Cuba, but that's not generally how it's done anymore. It's, u it's usually done in, in a lab, in a hothouse, and we uh, generate new seed that way. Paul, you might want to uh, uh, you might want to explain, since you know, a lot of people watching the show live in the cities or the urban areas and may not be familiar with hummingbirds, believe it or not. You know, you don't see too many hummingbirds in downtown Philadelphia. 
No, I would imagine not. Right. <laughs> explain humming pigeons. Yeah. Depends on where you go. <laughs> explain, explain what a for, hummingbird is. For those of you that don't know, hummingbirds are amongst the small, mm -hmm. I think they are the smallest species of bird. They're typically only about that big. Yeah, a couple inches. Uh, they're called hummingbirds because they're one of the few birds that hover. They don't glide. Yeah. Their wings beat so fast that they can stand still in the air like a and chopper. just hover. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a bumblebee. Yeah. And one of the interesting things about them, if you watch them, particularly around a tobacco plant, is they have a fairly long beak and a very long tongue. And what they do is they hover in front of the flower, they point their beak at the flower, and then stick their tongue all the way into yeah. that yeah. trumpet to pull out some nectar and pollen. That could be useful. Uh, I've seen, I've kinds of seen that. I've the seen cartoons that. show that when you show the little tongue coming out. It is of the of Like the horn shaped looking. Beak. There is actually a brand of cigar <laughs> called Nectar de la Flor. Oh, yeah. Which means nectar yeah, from the, the flower. Flowers, and yeah. their logo is a hummingbird in yeah, front of the tobacco yeah. flower. <laughs> you know who makes that cigar? Sonny Annie? No. <laughs> oh, God. Does Nestor make nectar? Okay, no, that's not a Nestor cigar either. Who makes it? That's that's one of mine. Oh, it's one of your old brands. Yes, it is. Ah. It's not so good. I didn't even talk about initial light up. So that's about tobacco flour. Unless okay, you want to talk about nice. more. You well, can, you can make great bread out of tobacco. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Why do they take the flour off the plant? Because the the flour sucks a lot of nutrient out of the plant. Mm. You know, all plants when they're reproducing send all of their nutrients there instead of anywhere else in the plant and you want it in the leaf. You don't want it in the flower. Okay. Interesting. I think I said Interesting. That. He did say that before in one of the earlier yeah, episodes. No, yeah, I said it about the minutes ago. Oh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's over Thanks. in Colmar. He's right there. He didn't hear it. Oh, okay. So what's the first impressions of this? We didn't even get to do initial light up impression. What didn't we do? Sweet. Yeah. The initial light up impression. It's actually it is very no. sweet. Sweet and it's yeah. so spicy. far. Spicy. It is spicy. Yeah. I'm yeah. getting really? roasted I nuts as soon as I light it up. Really? I get yeah. those too, but only when I'm in the sun. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Wow. I, I think it's time for maybe a word from one of our other sponsors. Who? Oh. Who's that? Barbecue. Mm, barbecue. Oh. Oh, oh, BBQ. BBQ. Do you like good barbecue? Do you want mouth-watering, succulent meats and Everybody side likes dishes? Everybody barbecue. Mouth-watering, Watch the graphics as they meats. go by. If Paul does his job well. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue. You can see the menu and you can see pictures, even more pictures than are being presented now, at mybbqbbq.com. That's mybbqbbq.com. Might want to spell that out. I think I just did. Oh, you did? Oh it didn't sound like you did. Oh, my God. <laughs> it sounded like a word. As you can oh tell, my God. The, <laughs> the lovely Miss T. Wow. The lovely that Miss T. <laughs> it was serious. That was, was serious. A, was are, an you, Oxford, are you kidding? Was an Oxford graduate. <laughs> wow. Oxford Circle. Have you ever said the following line? What's the number to 911? No. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, well, you're, yes, you have. you're there. I hope you don't ever you're right, it. You're right there. Wait, we're in the middle of a commercial. <laughs> oh, let's start it over. You know, if you go to that website, yeah. to my, and this is how it's spelled, mybbqbbq.com, if you go there, <laughs> The first thing you'll see is some incredible views of the all-you-can-eat ah, barbecue Ah, I was coming buffet. around to that. Okay. Well, I'm bringing you I here. was coming around to that. Every Monday and Tuesday night from 4 o'clock to closing for 19.95 is all-you-can-eat barbecue. Pick me up on it if I forget something. One nine nine five. Ribs, brisket, pulled pork, pulled chicken, sausages. Barbecue lasagna. Meatballs. Barbecue lasagna. Oh, that's you, awesome. Have you ever had you, barbecue yeah, lasagna? Yeah. So you taste barbecue no, lasagna no, no. is incredible. And don't forget the cornbread. Cornbread. cornbread oh, macaroni and beans. cheese. Green beans. Co what kind of what kind of green? Co <laughs> 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 Did he just say no, it? I said, I said collard green. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm from the city. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not from the south. Uh, there's even. Um, what did I roast forget? pork and rib stew. Oh yeah, oh that, that is really, really good. That is sausage and meatballs. So right. bottom line is, bottom line is, if you go 
to the Barbecue Barbecue, which is located at 537 Easton Road in Horsham, right up the street from the Horsham Cigar Cigars. And you mentioned that you heard about this on Cigar Time. They'll laugh you right out of it. No. No. <laughs> they will give you a free dessert and a hearty handshake. Oh, I knew he was going to get it uh, in. Stop, I man. told no you. Laurels, no laurels, just a hearty handshake. So I, no, yeah. seriously. Closing's at 9 o'clock. You, seriously, you, you will close. love the food. It's worth TV the show. drive. You know, I've seen a lot of barbecue people time. going to the barbecue store, putting their order in, coming down here, grabbing a cigar, and then going back and getting their food in there. You can do that. You can do that. I think that's awesome. Time. That's well, you're gonna, time. folks, you're going to love the food, and I guarantee it. Ah, oh, what do you mean guarantee? I personally guarantee I it. I personally guarantee it, because I'm an eater there myself. Really? Can you tell? <laughs> Enough already. We eat there every day. Yeah, well, every day for lunch. Day. Almost. Us every minions, day. no. Us minions. <laughs> no, <sorry. yeah. laughs> I think it's time to give our initial impressions after we burned the. I want to. I want to say something we about did. the fact that this is the um, Master Blend version three. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it had the come newest out version. Two, yep. two times before. Yeah, oh. I mentioned that. And one of the things about the first two okay. was that very distinctive was that yeah. they were actually the the wrapper leaf was tattooed with the design yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. the original one yeah the first, first two. two. Oh, first yeah. two i yes. thought it was just the first one and then the machine that did the tattooing of the tobacco broke oh. and when uh when they found out that it would cost over a hundred thousand dollars to fix the machine. That's the end of that machine. They said, "Let's forget the tattoo and just focus on the cigar." The tattoo is oh. actually pretty cool. It yeah, was. It was cool. Cool. Yeah. a hundred thousand dollar cool, yeah. but yeah, the no. cigar is pretty cool too. This so it costs more to fix the machine than it actually yeah. costs to make it. Probably. But wow. Another interesting fact: they, they actually the leaves that went to make this uh, used to be exclusively used for the, a family blend. It, they, oh, it was okay. just a cigar that was it wasn't released. Yeah, yeah. It was just something that was for private use. Um, for the and then they family. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, interesting. Is there any other cigar that has a a, a Connecticut broadleaf that's box pressed? I know there's another Connecticut oh, broadleaf, but I don't think yeah, it is. There's is another Connecticut. There is another one. one? Yeah, there yes, is. It is. It's a it is Connecticut broadleaf. Yes, yeah. it is. But it's a what's sun interesting grown. is it's a sun grown and it's not a Maduro. Yes. You usually it looks only see broadleaf Connecticut yeah. broadleaf yeah. as a Maduro. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a Maduro. It's no. not a Maduro. That's, what, that's why not, I ask. It's yeah. unusual. Well, it's an unusual then maybe blend. Yeah, the, uh, in that aspect. The Perla. That's not actually broadly. there is one. That's, that's not broadly. Connecticut, you Connecticut. Connecticut. No, no, Connecticut, no, Connecticut broadly. Oh, oh, oh. no, Connecticut broadly. Oh, no. There is a Connecticut broadly, but broadly. I don't think Maybe. there's a sun Maybe. grown. I don't know. I don't think there's a Connecticut broadly sun Well, I feel like I've lost control of the show. You yeah. haven't. This yeah, is good banter. Like the yeah, since, well, you know. Since the, since the camera started rolling, yeah. you've lost control of the show. That's because you didn't start it off You just have to be in control. I feel this massive tension in the air here. What tension? Cutting edge tension. You're bringing tension. I like it. It's the smoke. It's the smoke. A lot of smoke. Reminds me of a song. Smoke gets in your eyes. This is one of the smokiest cigars I've had in a long time. Yeah, this is very smoky. I like this. Well, should we talk more about the cigar or should we bring up our topic? Well, how expensive is this? Oh, topic. Uh, it's, uh, this, one, this is yeah. a robusto. This is ten thirty. Wow! And okay. the Churchill is twelve. What was it twelve? So it's twelve forty. I think something like that. Like it's, a, it's a very limited release cigar with it a is price very limited to release, Yes. Okay. We have an. It's store, limited right? because it each stores. each each year they come out with a different one. That's hence Master Blend Three. This is number three. Each crop is going to be different. Each blend is going to be different. Right. Correct. And and how much you get depends on the crop. Well, I have an idea. Get licorice. I have an idea. Isn't it time for us to really, uh, you know, give some people a great buy? What? Yeah, if what? you want to. Suppose we make some 10 packs. How's that sound? Oh, we're doing a special? We'll do a 10 pack. A pack of 10. So a pack of 10 would be, I guess, between $103 uh, and, and $124. So I say 10. $100. How much? That sounds like a good number. $100? How do you spell that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How much does the shrink wrap cost? <laughs> we add that to the cost. Oh, yeah, so we'll throw in. We'll dollar. throw in the shrink wrap. Ah, see. Oh. So, so, are, so there, are there ten cigars in the ten pack? There are ten cigars in the ten pack. Oh, okay. Just wow. Show. Yeah. That, uh, how many years did you go to school to figure no, that one it's out? Because you said it like four times. What are they going to be okay. the sizes? So we're going to we're going to offer them both on a Churchill. Oh, okay. So so we know the retail would be between one hundred and three and one hundred and twenty four. Throw out some suggestions. What should we sell it for? Eighty. <laughs> 89.95. I like Tia's favorite number, 
<laughs> that is my favorite number. Wow. <laughs> he remembered too. You see that? Oh, we have really gone down the toilet. This is okay. going right in the toilet. This is not. God, in the what is a great number? Seventy. Wait, he just said sixty-nine. Well, well, Scott always wants away. to go up. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, th I don't think we should give a deal at all. This is a great cigar that should sell good. itself. Nah, people know we should this give is a deal. Aliva. Oh, that, you're we should give a deal. Did we, did, we, did, we, did we tell people this is actually a cigar from Aliva? I don't yes. think yes. so. That, yeah, I said Aliva. Aliva, Master Blend. Wait, so. every time we've offered a deal, we've sold thousands and thousands. So there why don't we? Why don't we continue the tradition? Okay, let's all make right, it. Fifty-nine on the arrive. Well, you're heading in the right direction. Wait, you're doing a pack of ten because they come in a box of twenty. So I think that's awesome. A pack of ten. I think that's awesome. Why don't we give them off. out for? Don't say forty nine ninety five. Well, that's what I was going to say. Forty nine ninety five. Well, now you're not allowed. You're not allowed. Wow. I'm not allowed to say it. No. You can say uh, whatever you want. I'll say it anyway. Forty nine ninety five. Wow. Pack of ten. While supplies last, and we have a few thousand left. So no dealers. That's a fifty percent discount. That? No dealers. More than that. No dealers. Yeah, no dealers. What's 50. dealers? Limit a thousand to a customer. What does dealers mean? No retailers mean? can come and buy a bunch. No to sell wholesale. In their store. No wholesale. Yeah. Okay. And we'll continue uh, this for at least two weeks or until supplies dwindle. I don't know that based supplies on, are not going to last. No, no, no. Ba yeah, based on stuff we've done in the past, it'll it'll be gone. Forty nine ninety five for a yeah. pack of ten of these cigars. May, it might be gone quickly. Who knows? They're going to go. So under five dollars for a ten plus dollar cigar. Yeah, it's like 50, 60 percent off. A super and premium a really cigar. Good cigar. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. Let's rate it. Well, we first got to do our review. We got to do a review. All right, so let's do our review and then rate I'll it. I'll start. Okay. Um, my initial uh, taste of this was very spicy, and, but it was smooth. So it was almost like a spicy, mellow smooth. Um, the construction's beautiful. I love that the ash is just hanging on, not going anywhere. That's always good for ash. Um, I definitely <laughs> get. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, gonna go, run it's away. Gonna go <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go back to Paul C. Um, I get the roasted nuts. The pepper kind of reminds me of a white pepper. Not really black. I'm getting mm -hmm. white. Um, and yeah, um, I would definitely pair this with um, with a um, limited release of the Flying Dog Amarillo. Oh, uh, has a, yeah, you like this, right? I, like um, I think because it's an homage to the limited, so I think you should have a limited, you know, drink with it. Um, it has a com it has complex combination of spice and citrus, so hence the spice in here and the herb would pair very well with that um, with that beer. Wow, I like flying though, Rob. I've had a few of these cigars. Uh, it's very spicy. I don't like the cigar at all. Oh, what? At all. I didn't like the first one. I didn't like the second one. And I really don't like really? the I'm movie. falling off the chair. I don't like the cigar at all. So give me yours. Look at Scott's face. I wish I had a camera. Really? <laughs> there is nothing I like about this cigar. Where did Other that come from? Other than the fact that it comes from Oliva, which well, I love. I love band. Oliva. You like the band? The band is really nice. <laughs> I didn't even talk about the band. talk about the band. Hey, I'm getting more advanced the here. The band is nice. The cigar. No, no, no. I'm not done. Give me the whole thing. He's going to tell. Tell us why he doesn't like it. Get the hook out and um, me up. Get the hook. Hey, you know Art, there goes those sponsors. I, <laughs> I don't like the cigar at all. To me, it is completely devoid of taste. Whoa! Wow! Absolutely. And I've smoked more. This isn't the only one I've ever smoked. Okay, I just want to remind everybody. It is not my taste profile I, at all. I just want to remind you everybody. Everybody's exactly. opinion is their it's own. Like it's my own. It's my own opinion. As cigar smoking is very subjective. It is. And sometimes amateurs get a hold no. of them. Yeah. <laughs> amateurs. I'm shaking my head no in complete way. shock. This cigar no. is terrible. No You're out of your mind. It's toothy. It's no oily. opinions are wrong. Some it's are just really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the four of you are. Stupid. are stupid. Well, you don't even know our opinions yet. Yeah. You guys, by the by the reaction you just gave me when I said it was a terrible cigar, I know exactly what you're. I really, 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 really don't like it. I this hate is the way this cigar. He oh, hates, hate wow. it. Scott, give it to I'm, Mikey. He likes everything. I like this. I think it's fantastic. I, I mean, it's 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 medium body. It's I think they I think I read somewhere on the uh, on website that it was full, full body, but it's, it's more body. medium medium body. I'm getting a little bit of spice. I guess I will go with the white pepper on that. But I'm I'm actually getting some roast coffee or cocoa notes from it. Paul, um, cocoa nuts. The first two <laughs> puffs were surprisingly sweet. Especially yeah. considering that it's not a Maduro, no, I was really no. kind of shocked at how sweet it was. 
And that sort of now has drifted off into a kind of licorice-y flavor. Yeah. Which I really like. Um, and I think the flavors are complex and interesting, and screw you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring it on, man. Yeah. My, my, you guys are my so remarks, wrong. my remarks will resemble the three other knowledgeable panelists on the, the uh, table. You didn't like no the way. one either. No, the the one was terrible too. Oh, oh my god. god. Also, I find a cigar <laughs> to be on the slightly upper side of medium. I find a nice sweet finish to it. Yes. I I can't believe you don't like this cigar, I'm, but. As we've always said, yeah, you cannot buy, you cannot buy a rating on this show. No sponsor and no, no sponsor. We are objective, yep. but remember, cigar smoking is subjective. It is. It is very. And if subjective. you don't, if you don't try it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, I mean, at these prices, it's, it's a fantastic for, buy for forty nine ninety five for yeah. ten. Yeah. You yeah. have to. Uh, you got to yeah. try it. If you don't like them, give them out. Just not to me. I is think the right. fact that Ron hates them is reason enough to buy a 10 pack. Yeah. Well put. Oh, nice. Well put. Cool, we got another topic to get to. I oh, think, we got to rating I first. Think, oh. I, I think this should be the first show where we introduce the new the new rating scale. No, 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 no. no, no. Two weeks later. Two rating scale. Two weeks. Nobody two weeks. told okay. me about that. Don't Turn in two weeks now. I'm always out of the two. loop. You are out of the loop. All right, so always. let's so let's so, so let's let's <laughs> let's go with the rating before we Good. completely run out of time. Tia. Four point eight. Scott? Well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped right over me. Scott? Four point five. Paul. Four point six. Well, I sort of resemble what they. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I, did I forget you? Yes. Give it, give it a number. Give I give it a two. You mind if I, I leave? Two. Oh, I give come it a two. on. I hate King. this cigar. It's the lowest rating I ever. I hate this cigar. Say it I'm again. I'm not going to apologize for it. You don't have to apologize. Oh, you'll apologize later. He'll <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be no, sorry. I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Unbelievable. From the mouth of babes, off time come gems. What's the, another one you guys what's, the, what's your rating? What's yeah, the, you rate what's the oh, total? This is a clear four and a half to Oh me. my yeah. God, you guys are all nuts. No. And I don't like real strong cigars. This, that so, cigar I is I not that fun. strong. I love yeah, I this one. I, I, more medium. I, I get the it. pepper initial. I got I got the sweet finish. I'm still getting a sweet finish and, and I'm about five bucks in. I get and the, and the licorice. Come on, we got another. We'll save the topic for next week. No, we keep we, doing we that every week. This is the second time. We're going to run out of time. Okay. Yeah. No, Quick. no, never mind. No, never mind. because I need time no. to talk there, about there mine. There isn't enough time. Yeah. There isn't enough time, time to talk about There mine. isn't enough time, so the people will have to tune in next we week. We need a different host. How bad the cigar is? No, no. I'll talk about how good it is. Ugh. You guys are nuts. What? And it's 70% Lajero, which I think it doesn't even feel like that. That's not at all. That's where it comes Yeah, that's where the. Yeah. I will spend the rest of my life trying to convince Rob that this is not a bad that cigar. Is, that is I'm so glad good he luck did with this. That. I'm well spent. At least you didn't you smash were wasting it down your time. like I did. No, you are wasting your time. Let me so put it this way. We were going to review this. Four of us agree that this is a super premium, delicious cigar, and one of us... One of us is correct. One of us is, one of us is correct. One of us, one of us, voted one of us need, but it's not you. He's one of us needs right. some heavy it's institutional not. therapy. No, it's not <laughs> impatient. Absolutely not. I hate to say it, it's time to say goodbye. Uh, well, that was quick. Yeah, it went by quick. So somebody starts. I'll yeah. start. Oh, okay, you start. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. Hi, Dad. Thanks for watching. Quickly. IG. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get it out. Hi, well, mom. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. There you go. Like and the rest of like I always say, smoke often and smoke happy. We thank you very much for your viewership. Next year is going to be a year, and we'll see you next week. Next thank you very, very much for tuning in. Very nice. Comes in eight different colors. I it got does. the white. Re-engineered with a bigger tank. Who got the black? I got yellow. <laughs> I have kid, orange. That's what my kids say about me. What? That I've been re-engineered with a bigger tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no whispering. I'm They're sure official that. sponsor, aren't they? They are. They are an official sponsor. Of Cigar Cigars. Yeah. yeah. Cigar, cigar time. time. Not Cigar Cigars, Cigar Time. Cigar Time. But <laughs> Paul, have, <laughs> have you got show. any uh, words of wisdom this week? About this cigar? No, not yet. We're just with it. Oh. You have a topic. Yes, I do. Okay. You Let's know, hear it. Mm. We've talked a lot about tobacco, and of course we all know it's a plant. But what we haven't talked about much is the tobacco flower without which there would be no tobacco plant. Makes sense. A couple of things that if you think about it, you might already realize. Uh, the flower pops out on the tobacco plant when it's uh, fairly mature, 
usually about six feet tall. Um, and in the, on, on the plantations where they're growing the tobacco, typically they pinch off the flower as soon as it starts to emerge. And they do that so that all of the nutrients that would go to the flower wind up going to the leaf instead. Because the more that goes to the leaf, the more flavor you wind up with. And since the plant's six feet tall, Rob can't reach the top. It's no. very funny. So, so they pinch Short off. Short jokes, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're not much taller than me. He goes for the broadleaf flower. Yeah. Oh, that grows lower. Well, it's not um, lower. It, it's an interesting thing, though. <laughs> during flowering time in the fields, uh, you will see about one out of every 50 or so plants will have a bag. A plastic bag over the flower. It's one of the ugly ones. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I could do five minutes What's with that line. What's going on with your I mean, cigar? I could go on and on about. Check out the operator it's error a, in lighting that cigar. It's a double bagger. Yeah. It's a double um, bagger. <laughs> <laughs> they do that because it's very good, Scott. They, Don't forget this. They come back every year because they make so many seeds mm. uh -huh. that it just naturally reseeds itself and comes back the next season. Nice. The, the fact that they attract hummingbirds is actually very useful in the tobacco business. Historically, uh, that's how they would pollinate the plants on the plantations. When it was time to pollinate, when the flowers were coming up, they would release flocks of hummingbirds into the tobacco fields, and they would go from flower to flower carrying some of the pollen with them and moving around and, and that's how they would reproduce the plants. Uh, they might do it in some parts of Cuba, but that's not generally how it's done anymore. It's, u it's usually done in, in a lab in a hot house and wow. generate new seed that way. Paul, you might want to uh, uh, you might want to explain since you know a lot of people watching the show live in the cities or the urban areas and may not be familiar with hummingbirds, believe it or not. You know, you don't see too many hummingbirds in downtown Philadelphia. No, I would imagine not. <laughs> explain <Humming> pigeons. <laughs> 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 Expl explain what a for, hummingbird for is. For those of you that don't know, hummingbirds are amongst the small, mm -hmm. I think they are the smallest species of bird. They're typically only about that big. Yeah, a couple inches. Uh, they're called hummingbirds because they're one of the few birds that hover. They don't glide. Yeah. Their wings beat so fast that mm -hmm. they can stand still in the air like a and chopper. just hover. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a bumblebee. Yeah. And one of the interesting things about them, if you watch them, particularly around a tobacco plant, is they have a fairly long beak and a very long tongue. And what they do is they hover in front of the flower, they point their beak at the flower, and then stick their tongue all the way into yeah. that yeah. trumpet to pull out some nectar and pollen. That could be useful. I've, I've seen all I've kinds of things. The seen cartoons that. show that when you show the little tongue coming out. It is the end of Like the horn shaped looking. Beak. There is actually a brand of cigar. <laughs> the family hour. Yeah. They select a particular plant Half that they want to get seeds from, and they let that one continue to flower. But because the seeds are so minuscule, I think you pointed out there's somewhere on the order oh, of like 11,000 11, per gram. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. the size of a. Uh, a grind, like the ground coffee, it's about the size of a seed. A ground. really yeah. fine ground coffee. Anyway, so they pick the ones that they want, they put a bag over the top and they let it go to seed, as they say. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the flower itself. Um, if you've never seen one, uh, we'll try to get a picture that you can see during the, during the airing of this show. The flowers look like trumpets. They're, they're kind of long and, and deep. Um, they generally are either white or a very pale purplish color. But here's a few surprises. They only open at night. They stay most of the way closed until the air cools off and the sun goes away, and then they open up. Because like the freaks the come out at night. Like vampires. Nocturnal. Because yeah. they're freaks. Uh, and Well, no, it's actually because tobacco Jeez. is a member of the nightshade family. Oh. And that's a characteristic of all nightshade plants that they mm -hmm. that's what, what, the, what other nightshade, nightshade plants are there? Belladonna. That's what I wanted <laughs> you to say. Yeah. Well, we won't go there. You, you, uh, you don't want to chomp on those. Uh, no, well, you don't really want to chomp on a live tobacco plant either. No. Um, they are extremely fragrant. In fact, they make an excellent garden plant for around your house 
it's a slightly different breed, but tobacco plants are actually very common in gardens in the United States. And the reason is, uh, if you get the lower growing varieties, they almost act like a ground cover. Uh, they, the flowers are actually very pretty. They smell fantastic. And they attract hummingbirds like nobody's business. It's one of the best plants if you want to get hummingbirds to come around and, and hang around. And even though it's an annual, which means it dies every year. Mr. Director, is this the right brim? <laughs> Good. Hopefully the good. eagles do better than the. Well, they're doing good. better I'm so far. This is the thirtieth. This is the thirtieth of September, and the guys are doing pretty good. Yeah. I think you know, not for the cap to all of them. Absolutely. I mean, they they won a couple of tough games. They could have gone either way, and life what, is good. I, I What's your prediction? Oh boy, here we go. Come on, we gotta get it on camera, everybody. I predict if I don't light a cigar pretty soon, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> All right, we need to speed this up because Paul's gonna have a fit. Yeah. We're running out of time. I just want to wait. I just want to know where I'm getting my money for the bet that oh I won my God. because of the home runs. <laughs> It's not over yet. Oh, stop. No, it actually, is. It is a couple over. days ago. I yes, lost. It is. You for lost. the first time in a gazillion years, Grazie you actually Dio. You beat Dio. me in a bet. Of course, I gave you a layup on that one. I really oh, gave you a layup. All right, 20 so, bucks. So what's the betting What's the betting on the Eagles this year? 11 and 5. Wow. You heard it here. Rob? Uh, 10 and 6. 12 and 4. Got to be different. I'm with Rob, 10 and 6. Are you kidding? There you go. That's what they did last year. So I'm, I'm, Boy, I'm so torn between 11 and 6 and 12 and 4, or 11 and 5 and 12 and 4. I could take the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on the limb. Eight and eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's a limb. Yeah. Twelve and four. There you go. Wow. Okay. I'm out on the limb. All right. I'm all by myself as I, usual. I, I think it's maybe time to start talking about cigars. Yeah. Oh, thank God. That's okay. why we're here. <laughs> uh, Miss T will introduce our our cigar for today. Our cigar today is the Oliva Master Blend Three. The, the wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf Sun Grown. The binder is Nicaraguan <coughs> Habano, and the filler is a Nicaraguan Lajero. The sizes are a Robusto and a Churchill, and the taste profile is roasted nuts, pepper, and herb. Just want to point out that Oliva is the second largest grower in Nicaragua. Um, their Oliva Master Blend series, each one has a different, completely different blend, and how much you get depends on the, how much they yield from the crop of that season. So, I just also want to point out that we're lighting, uh, yeah, cutting and lighting our cigars with uh, Zycar. One of our Zy sponsors. Yeah, one of our sponsors, the Zycar. Alum. What kind of Zycar? That's the Alum lighter. Very sexy. Very it's cigar time. The world's <laughs> largest viewed show all about premium cigars. How about that? It's oh very nice. nice. The right. world's very largest. Very enthusiastic. I like it. It is very nice. Yeah, you it's a little say, different opening. You didn't say welcome back. Yeah, I didn't say welcome the cigars. Well, the reason I didn't say welcome back Cause is... Because we don't welcome them? No, we He's love them. for the oh, Laurel and okay. Hardy. Next week... Stop. <laughs> next week... I don't want to hear that. Next week <laughs> will be our one-year anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. There's some betting That's here whether we should yeah. wear formal wear or not. No, no formal wear. Yeah, it's an no. evening gown. Absolutely. My guess is that no. won't happen. That will not happen. Won't happen. Just let me uh, clarify a few things first. Uh, this show is for you. This show is about premium cigars. Uh, we have a lot of people watching this show, and people all over the world, actually. They view it on Facebook and YouTube. And, of course, the people here in the local Delaware Valley, uh, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania, uh, often comment, what do we mean by supporting your local brick and mortar stores? Uh, brick and mortar is the store you go in into in the wintertime when you can't smoke outdoors. Uh, Cigar Cigars has nine stores around the Delaware Valley, but we're not on every corner. And we would just implore you to please support your local tobacconist. He needs your support. He needs your sales. He, he can't operate. He can't run his lounges. He, he can't operate a business unless you support him. Sure. We appreciate the support you give us, but we want you to know we support the brick and mortar stores as well. And we appreciate if you spread the business around. Go oh, brick and mortar. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so not want you to smoke in the garage anymore. Speaking of the way we're dressed, I see you're wearing your Phillies hat. Aren't they? Uh, yeah. It, it's over. Oh, it is, the bloodletting ended a couple days ago. A couple ago. days ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess I guess it's time to. Tip of the cap. You didn't do it for us this year, guys, but maybe next year. Probably not well, next year. But, 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 oh. I came prepared. <laughs> nice.